welcome to the Meadows Investment Forum Backstage Interview. I'm here with Claudia Copper CEO, Claudia Thonquist. Claudia, welcome back. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Oh, great. You, you seem to have a great success in drilling last year. And then you continue to start, continue drilling. And then we sh- are we going to get some results very soon? And what's your stage you are in right now? Well, it's a very busy year for Kodiak. We have a 30,000, up to 30,000 meter drill program ongoing at our MPD project. At the moment, we're just about halfway through. We just had an update news release recently, and we were at 25 holes at the time, and uh, will in total drill approximately around 50 holes. So halfway through. So far, we have results from six holes. We're expecting another six or seven or in that ballpark soon. I was hoping we'd have them before the end of September, but uh, we just heard from the lab that we'll get the results in the first week of October is their best estimate. So it'll be in October when we'll be able to release those results. And then obviously lots more to come over the autumn and winter. Oh, excellent, excellent. I mean, I remember last year uh, with just one hole around this time, just one hole changed the whole story and you start went up five, tenfold, if I remember correctly, from top to, to from bottom to top. So it's a very exciting time. Hopefully you'll hit something very big and a long intercept as you, you, you've been observing. Yeah, it's certainly been an exciting um, uh, discovery last year when we first drilled into the high grade gate zone. We've been drilling at gate um, this year. So far, the focus was of our drill program was the gate zone. We had a nice initial success when we did a big step out of more than 500 meters, 575 meters to be precise, and again, intersected high-grade mineralization. So it was fantastic to see that the high-grade mineralization was still there, even more than half a kilometer away from where we drilled last year. And now we're busy drilling between last year's drilling, the discovery holes, and the big step out. And those will be the results that will start coming um, next week. Well, in a couple of weeks, and then um, uh, over the weeks and months to come. Well, excellent, excellent. So I know the currently you're only drilling a very small area of the huge concession. So, do you, what's your plan for other areas this year? That's a good question. As I said, so far we've only drilled at gate, and there are several other target areas, large target areas that are very similar to gate and have an analogous signature, same geophysical footprint or signature. I also have big um, copper anomalies on surface and have some shallow drilling with some interesting shallow results, but no deeper drilling. So we have several of those interpreted porphyry centers at Dillard, Mann, also on the newly acquired um, ground at Axe, and we'll be drilling those as well. Dillard is on the list still for this year. We'll be moving one drill there shortly. And then the other target areas are on the list for next year. So we are not short of drill targets by any means. It'll be a very big drill program and a busy year next year as well. Well, excellent. I know you also have another big concession in Arizona. Uh, That's going to be drilled next year as well? We are planning to drill that project. This year, our um, work was 99, 95 something percent uh, focused on MPD. Obviously, it was a whirlwind after last year's discovery that took up um, most of our time. In the background, we've been working away on Mojave's permitting to renew the permit. And we have a small initial drill program plan that will likely take place in the first half of 2022 at Mojave, similar to um, how we started our work at MPD. Oh, excellent, excellent. Can you also talk about your uh, relationship with the First Nation, your ESG in, in, in MPD area? 
Yes, that's a topic that's very close to my heart that I consider very, very important. The um, gaining the support and creating, establishing constructive working relationship with local stakeholders, indigenous communities. And we've um, done a lot in that area. We consult and engage with um, 21 First Nations in um, the project, wider project area, some more um, frequently, some less, but uh, 21 of them whom we keep informed. And we've uh, received a lot of support from them when our, with our permitting, with our um, heritage surveys and so on. And it's been a pleasure and a very constructive working relationship. And um, I'm looking forward for more engagement going forward. I strongly believe that that really is crucial to move the project forward. There are many mines that did never get built because of local opposition. And conversely, there are mines that did get built because they had so much support from local stakeholders. And we certainly work hard to be in the latter camp. Oh, excellent, excellent. Looks like you have a long-term vision all set up, want to build a mine instead of some company that just want to drill and then it's other people's problem. Looks like you start to attack the problem, try to solve, have any potential issues at the very beginning of the project. That's a very good to hear as your shareholder. And I just want to cover a little bit about your financial situation. I know tech investing 9.9%, actually a much higher stock price than current your trade your trading right now. And uh, what kind of capital you have? You have sufficient money for to drill for this year and next year? We have. We have um, $12 million at the moment in the kitty, and that finances all of this year's work and well into next year. If you've followed Kodiak, you might have noticed that the 12 million is just about um, the cash balance we had a year ago after we financed. We raised 12.7 million at the time. And the reason that hasn't gone down is that we had in total 6 million warrants exercised over the year. Essentially, all our warrants were in the money um, after our discovery last year. And so many were exercised and that of course gave us additional cash, which is positive, but that certainly also weighed on our share price over the year. And um, I'm glad that many of those warrants are, are now out of the way. We only have 1.7 million outstanding. So the last so small tranche and that should hopefully give our share price room to run and nothing to hold it back. Particularly oh, excellent. all the excellent. results coming in the autumn yeah. and winter. Wow, excellent. I mean, looks like you have been busy buying your share from the open market. In the last time I saw you buying was last, uh, I mean, the, the March of 2020. I saw you were buying. I said, okay, I better buy something, buy some stuff too. Then the next thing I know, the stock was a 10 bagger. So uh, <laughs> I hope to history repeat. Yeah, I've bought and, and so have other um, insiders um, multiple times over the, the summer and the last couple of weeks. I certainly think at, at these levels, we are a buying opportunity. Our market cap at the moment is 60 or 70 million. And I always think that the uh, GT Gold transaction is a very good comparable to us. GT Gold is also an was an exploration company. They made a discovery further north in BC two years earlier than we did, and they were taken out last year for 400 million. And so when I look at our market cap of 60 or 70 million, I strongly believe that there's a long way to go. That's why I'm certainly buying our stock at these levels. Well, excellent. And then they're looking further north. We have casino project even mm -hmm. further in Yukon that had a very, you know, very big JV from Rio. So it seems like the copper and gold deposit is in high demand and you can potentially have a right next to infrastructure mm -hmm. and very, very better, much better located than other project. And it's 300, maybe more. Sounds good from, from here. Yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to continuing our work and looking forward to our results. And it'll be an exciting 
year going forward, uh, exciting time going forward for Kodia. Well, excellent. And this is a little before looking. Do you expect, do, do you have any plan to get some resource out of this MPD or the, uh, you know, the this this project uh, going forward? So get some idea or maybe it's too early to tell? It's a good question. It's a difficult one to answer. At this stage, we're certainly still exploration drilling and we really haven't tested um, all our other target areas yet. We don't know whether we've hit the highest grade mineralization yet. There might be other target areas that are as good or better than, than gate. And at this stage, we simply don't know. So we, we need to drill Dillard, for example, and also MAN and our other target areas first. And then um, we'll be in a better position to judge where and when it makes sense to start working on a resource. When will that be? Could be that uh, next year we'll start thinking about resource, working on resource. It could be further out. At this stage, it's hard to say. At this stage, really, it's about discovery and um, exploration drilling. Okay, great, excellent. Looks like you have a lot of results coming in the next uh, few weeks and looking forward to that and good luck.